So hello, my name is Glenn, and today we're looking at some coins from Hong Kong. So here I have uh, the old decimal coins. So we have the one cent, the five cent, and the ten cent coins. So these circulated before the Second World War. After the Second World War, they issued different coins in brass, as well as larger copper nickel fifty cent coin. So along with these, you get a silver. 20 and 50 cent coin, but the last year of mintage of those coins was 1905. And we have a large one cent and a small one cent. So this is 1931. That's the first year of small one cent. And these are the large coins that were issued from 19, no, not 19, 1863 to uh, 1926. But they circulated into the 30s. You could probably could have find them into the actual 30s. So the first coin we have is a one cent, well circulated. I'd actually grade this probably very good. Uh, flying condition would have a lot better uh, image of the actual coin. As you can see, most of the details gone. And this one has uh, two varieties that you can find. With 14 and 15 pearls in the crown, obviously you're not going to be able to count how many pearls are in that crown because of the severe circulation. So this one's probably valued at less than five dollars. Uh, and a mintage of two million, so it shouldn't be a hard coin to actually get. And the good thing about Hong Kong coins of this period is that the center has Hong Kong. So this follows the style of the old Chinese cashier. So you got Hong Kong. And then you have one cent. So you need to read it from uh, right to left and top to bottom. And around the side, we just have the English. So, and the effigy is the colonial effigies that they used on colonial coins. Although, nah, the Indian colonial coins, because there's a different place, uh, followed pretty much the regular series that they used in the United Kingdom. So that's somewhere special. So here we have a 1905. So this is a 1902 series of Edward VII. This one's probably very fine condition. Probably fine to very fine. Uh, I'd say it's probably on the border. It's just too well circulated. And this one is 7.5 grams of bronze, 27.6 millimeters in diameter. And it had a mintage of, depending on what mint mark it is. So usually they have a heat and mint somewhere around the date. So I don't see that. So this seems like the um, mint mark coin, uh, which has a mintage of 2.5 million. So, you need to check to see if there's a mint mark anyway. But on Hong Kong coins, usually the mint marks either around here or around here. So, this one's one of the lower minted coins, but still in this condition, you know, you're probably talking about five to ten dollars. Yeah, that probably covers the actual purchase of the whole lot. Then we have a 1924 coin. So, as you can see, this one is starting to get some toning on it. It has some gunk on it. Um, so, this is a 1919 to 1926 series. And this is the last series of the large coin. This is probably in fine condition. So, I grade these like I do on the Australian pennies, based on the actual crown. So, that's probably the easiest way to grade these coins. Uh, so 1926 had a mintage of, yeah, two and a half million. So this one's probably like five to ten dollars again because of the low mintage. Okay, so then we have the smaller one cent. So if we compare it with the larger, you can see the actual reduction in size. And this coin had the same design as the previous coins except 
uh, this small size and the weight of this coin is 3.94 grams this one's probably in VF condition very fine and has a mintage to 5 million so this one's self between 5 and 10 dollars in uh, that condition and there's 1933 and 34 uh, the other two dates in this series and there is a 1941 but that was never issued for circulation okay so then we have the five cent coin so this is the smallest coin uh, made of silver in Hong Kong there is a one mil coin which is smaller and this one was first minted in 1866 so they minted the coins of the one ten and one dollar value first, and then the fives they issued uh, later on. So this is eighteen ninety three. Should be a high mint issue. Uh, I'm looking at Numista as I'm doing this. Uh, so this one is a mintage of three million. So for this period, that's probably average. And for this coin, you're probably paying. Uh, probably about 10 to 20 dollars even though it's in low grade so if we turn over yeah, it's probably fine condition i would say there's a lot of wear on it and then we have the 10 cent coin so this is a smaller one also of silver and uh, there's a curious thing about these hong kong coins at the time so if you look at the actual crowns they use you can see they use two different effigies on the five cent and the ten cent coin. But interesting is that the twenty and fifty cent just use this effigy that was on the ten cent. And if we look at the one cent coin, you can see it used the effigy that was also on the ten cent. So in this time period, they use two different effigies for. Uh, the coins of Hong Kong for Queen Victoria the later monarchs they didn't distinguish between the different effigies so that's the first time I've actually come across uh, two different effigies of an English monarch on the same coins at the same time no well, you know what I mean so the mintage of this 1897 coin is 23 and a half million shouldn't be too hard to get in this grade which is fine uh, it's going to be very easy to get and probably cost yeah, probably about $10 then we have uh, 1935 so this one was also issued 1936 and it's a small copper nickel coin similar in size to the previous silver coins uh, but they're both 18 millimeters and roughly yeah, 2.6 2.7 grams so in the milling the silver coin is a little bit thinner uh, because silver does have a higher density than copper and nickel and uh, the mintage of this one is 10 million so you're probably paying about five to ten dollars for that coin and here we have the 1938 so this is first issued in this size, so this is a 20.5 millimeter uh, in 1937. So, really, they've issued 35, 36, then 37, 38, 39, and this is just a nickel coin. So, they root, so they went from silver, copper, and nickel to nickel. Nickel is a lot more expensive than silver. And this one is a mintage of uh, seven and a half million. There's a, a 1939, you've got two Heaton and KN mints, uh, both 5 million each. Uh, if you don't know what KN, it's the King Norton Metal Company. They no longer produce uh, actual coins. And they changed the actual milling from a milled security edge. And this one's also probably about 5 to $10. And... This issue is the last issue until 1948. So really there was a nine year hiatus in which they issued um, Japanese military currency and then afterwards they just had uh, the one five and ten cent banknote. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your Hong Kong currency. I actually quite like them.
And even though the well circulates, it's uh, full of history. Currency is like that. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much and have an awesome banknote and coin collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.